First of all, let me know the problem statement, the right exact problem statement. Will that be a business benefit and what will happen to the business if you don't take this as a project? If not, please leave, don't waste my time and this is what happens in some of the organizations when you are not having a problem solving approach. Now in this video, we're going to see some of the problem solving techniques and how it differs from data science. So let's solve the problem. If you have not seen my video on problem statement and metrics, I would suggest you to go and see the videos here in order to know the complete setup of problem statement or an opportunity statement. So those will be useful here in this video and you can solve the problem easily. Whenever we are approaching a problem, there are mainly five criteria. One is the type of the problem and its understanding. Number two is the data type involved. Number three, type and awareness of the solution or the problem. Number four, intensity of the problem. And number five is implementation of solution. So let us see some of the problem solving techniques. Number one is just do it. Sorry guys, it's not Nike. So just do it is a problem technique where if you know the problem and the root cause of the problem and if you know the solution and if it is easy to implement to solve the problem, then it is called just do it method. So you can go and solve the problem immediately. For example, if you are working on a template that receives input from a supplier or to get into a portal into a data, you can have rules in the fields that are being inputted by the supplier, which is a small uh, just do it methodology. And this problem solving technique includes define, evaluate, improve and sustain. And this problem solving holds good for numerical data. And next problem solving technique is Kaizen. Kaizen is nothing but a change for an improvement. So if you know the problem and the root cause and if you have a smaller improvement or a continuous improvement to solve the problem, then it is called a Kaizen. For example, you can avoid over processing of a task that takes so much of time to convert any input into the output to solve the problem. This also includes steps like identify, define, evaluate, apply and sustain it. This also holds good for numerical data. Next is lean problem solving. If you know the problem and if you think it is a waste in the process or it does not add any value in the process, then it is called a lean problem solving technique in order to remove that. So lean means waste removal and it involves teamwork and brainstorming. If there is a process that does not provide any value to the objective, then it is a waste. For example, if measuring a data is not useful, then you must be stop measuring that data. This step also includes identify, define, evaluate, apply and sustain. So this method is also good for numerical data. And next is the diagnostic analysis or Six Sigma techniques. If you know the problem, but you don't know what the solution is or, how, or having multiple root causes, you don't know what the solution or which root cause to prioritize. At this stage, you can choose Six Sigma problem solving technique. And this includes the step like define, measure, analyze, improve and control. For example, if there are like customer returns that are being increasing 10% every year, so that is a bigger problem which has multiple root causes and multiple solutions. So at that time you can use Six Sigma technique. So this method is mostly used by quality professional and quality management people and they have a slight advantage whenever they take on data science course because all the statistics they will also be learning here whichever it is in data science course. So this method also holds good for numerical data. Now comes the savior data science. Data science is the most structured solving business problem technique. This involves when the problem is understood and the solution is approached based on a criteria of data and to predict the future. This method holds goods for numbers, images, text, video, data types and the problem solving method talks about the future where, where the remaining is more focused on the things that has happened in the past. For example, image processing, time series, many examples are there, you can refer my videos out there. This includes data collection, data cleaning, data analysis, model building and model deployment and model monitoring steps. So these are various problem solving techniques whichever is being used in the industries. So now let us see what is analysis versus analytics. Analysis speaks about examining the data to 
to derive some meaningful insights but whereas analytics talks about the complete management of data in order to derive a important insight analysis deals with the past data to provide needs to the business but analytics deals with analyzing the past and predicting the future performance in order to increase the business benefit analysis is better with numerical types but analytic holds all the data types like videos images and text and even voice data analysis is cheap and is with limited scope and it has been done manually data analytics is expensive and as well as it holds data analysis as a sub part in a project Data analysis is more using of statistical analysis to derive insights from data but data analytics also uses machine learning deep learning to derive insights but remember one thing people both analysis and analytics are in hand to hand so these both are interconnected and both of them is being required in the data science projects so these are the various problem solving techniques which ever i have been using it and we have seen and we have completed the first topic of data science in my roadmap so people who have not viewed my roadmap you can see uh, the video here and also we shall give a recap of business basics so we saw what all the domain knowledge which is important factor in a data science project so we started with the basic problem definition and category of project definition and elements of a problem statement or opportunity statement and we saw sipoc demai pdca 5w1h logic to derive the domain knowledge metrics common metrics output metrics and input metrics and operational levers and we also learned an example with an e-commerce domain with the with the techniques which are is being told in the previous point and also we have seen this problem solving statement and techniques so this is the recap of the business basics which are we have seen and stay tuned for the next topic which is going to be statistics and till that bye bye like my videos and subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed and stay safe guys